So this is Daffodil. Inside what was once the Richmond Police Mounted Patrol Barn. So she's our like seasoned pro. She's easy, she's quiet. She's so nice. Christy Chips Peters dotes over some of the newest additions to Richmond Animal Care and Control. Baby June, she is just like the sweetest, kindest little love soul. Four horses who were part of a much larger rescue operation that started last week in Shenandoah County. When around 100 horses, all thoroughbreds, were seized from a farm where law enforcement said they were in poor living conditions and malnourished. That started a, a, a huge operation of connections within the horse rescue world to try and help. Peter says RACC asked for the horses in the most need of care because of the facility they have available. <laughs> The four they were sent are 13 year old Daffodil, a former racehorse. Her racing name was Kentucky Melody. 10 year old Julie. She's the boss of the group. Two to three year old baby June. She's our baby. And four year old Nutmeg, who was taken to a vet clinic for extra care. She's supposed to be coming back today, so we're excited. Peter says along with looking after these four, RACC is helping other municipal shelters that have taken some horses with costs through their Tommy Fund and asks anyone wanting to help out to donate to the fund. Four Horses are very expensive and they rack up the bills really quickly. As for herself, a lifelong rider, Peter says it's been heartbreaking to see the conditions the horses were in, but at the same time. But it's also really wonderful in the way that these organizations and communities have stepped up to help them and the support that we have received and the support that everyone has been shown in collectively saving their lives has been really inspirational. And RACC says that Daffodil and Julie will likely be ready up for adoption some point this week, whereas baby June right here and Nutmeg might have to stay with them for a few more weeks before they can find their forever home. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.